Hello, this is week one of Writing for Results, and I'm Wally Metz. You know, I've been um, teaching writing for 40 years, I think, and have had plenty of opportunities to be a writer for newspapers, a magazine editor, work on book projects, work on marketing projects, and I'm really happy for the opportunity to be part of your journey in being a more thoughtful, creative, and effective writer. This week is um, some startup activities. You're going to be taking some time to uh, look at the introductions to the textbooks. Uh, you need to download and read the syllabus carefully. But the most important thing you need to do this week is choose a topic for, that you will be writing about through the whole, the whole term. So here's how this works. You're going to take a topic, and then you're going to do some research on that topic, and then you're going to write about the topic uh, for an academic kind of setting, then perhaps for a business setting, you'll be writing letters or correspondence about it, marketing copy, social media copy. So you want to choose something that can sort of work across all those different things. Let me give you an example. You might say, oh, I'm kind of interested in the new live feeds on Facebook. And so but you do research on that, and so then you'd write an academic paper about it, and then you'd think, well, I'd like to propose I want to imagine that I would propose to my boss how we might use this. And so you might write a proposal, then you might think, well, I need to get my colleagues at work to use it. So you're thinking about email and other things where you, how you might get them uh, to, to use that. So that's the idea. You get one topic and you write about it in different contexts. Um, by the end of the week, you need a bibliography, 10 sources, uh, where you've started looking at this topic throughout the semester, you may find other information that would be helpful in thinking about it and writing it. But this is the week you choose the topic, find some sources, and begin to imagine how they would work across the different contexts.